Well, I'm out in the woods. Reason, before I start, the reason I want to do this video is I want to show um, newcomers and, and, you know, people that don't get out there because they feel they don't have the gear and so on, how easy it is to camp out overnight or even a couple days with very limited equipment. Uh, most of this gear I got at the dollar store basically all of it besides the blanket I took from home and I got a spoon that I took from my from home my kitchen uh, drawer now the way I came in here is I've got my tarp in here and I've got my blanket now this gear I already did a video on uh, it's how to get started in bushcraft slash camping dollar store style and that's what this is I'm going to show you how to use this gear while out here now like I said I've got the uh, blanket and the tarp right there now well, that's not gonna work there we go that will now the way I brought in the rest of my gear is my jacket and uh, I had it tied around my waist. Now I'm going to throw it on real quick because it may get chilly later. So I brought a jacket with me. Now in this jacket, I'm going to uh, start showing you what I brought and uh, in which pockets. And then I will pan over it and show you the whole thing. So I got my flashlight. Like I said, this is a area light plus a flashlight. Let's drop it down there. What I did for food is this here is hamburger helper uh, beef noodle, and I split it in half in the package, so I make uh, two meals. And then I just added I split the powder as well, so the powder and uh, the noodles is in this bag, and I have another one in this bag. Now this normally requires, so that's two meals, it normally requires hamburger. Although, I didn't bother with hamburger. Because, well, I'll take this out real quick. That's my pot. I bought two cans of flakes of chicken. And they have the pull tab top. So that's what I have that I can add to my beef noodles hamburger helper. Now in this pocket again I have my knife, I have my cordage, and my spoon. So we'll set these down. Up here I have my matches and a lighter. Now, I left the magnifying glass home because I didn't need it for this trip. I've got two ways of starting fire, but you can uh, take one if you like. So there's my fire starting. In here, I just have my car keys. But on my side, right here, I have to bring you down. I've got my water bottle just hooked right through my belt. If I want to use it, I'll just grab it by the bottom, twist it off, twist it back on, or slip it out of my belt. So, that's what I've got. So far. Now, I'm going to, I selected this area for my camp setup. I'm going to hook right off of this tree. And, um, I was going to go over this, like I said, I pan over this uh, stuff here. So, Let's do that right now before I get started. Okay, we're back. Here's the meal right there. Two meals. Move up here. You got the knife, cutting tool, flashlight. Six by eight tarp, heavy duty tarp. My blanket. A pot and spoon, cordage, and fire starting. That's all I have. And uh, this will easily get me through 
a night and besides the food too I'm sure of it anyhow I'm gonna set up camp okay I've got the uh, tarp set up what I did is go with the basic uh, lean-to tied to that tree tied to that tree and down here I piled a bunch of brush for a mattress and threw my uh, wool blanket on top of that it requires uh, I've heard three inches and I've also heard six inches after it's uh, compressed to keep the ground from uh, sucking the body heat from you but all I did was uh, as you see I just tied it to that grommet tied it to that grommet and then I put a couple wooden stakes that I made down in each corner I'll show you those wooden stakes real quick right there you can see right there so now I've got my shelter set up I'm going to uh, start a fire and I'm going to find a good spot for a fire pit so what I'm going to do is uh, start my fire you never have too much birch bark <laughs> So I'm just going to light that up first with the uh, lighter. Drop that down, put some more on it. I'm going to use these little twigs. They'll catch on pretty quick. Now I'm going to uh, start this fire, get it going, and uh, get a pretty good bed of coals. And uh, then that's what I'll cook on is the coals, pretty much. I can put my pot right down in, right on top of the coals, and uh, cook on that. Or I might figure out something put across here and cook with that a couple green sticks or something. But I'm going to get this into a good set of coals anyhow. And uh, back to you, but... There you go, dollar store lighter. Okay, I'm going to put uh, the water in this right now. Yes, I could have took that off my belt, but I didn't. This here is about 500, 600 milliliters. And half of that's going to take about two cups, which is about the same thing. So, basically just put the whole thing in. Put the cover on it. And we're just going to set it in there somehow. Just like that works for me. We'll let that boil up. As you can see, we have boiling going on going to uh, add the noodles there now. I'm going to add the noodles there now. Got a good boil going on. Hopefully this isn't too hot. No, it's not at all. So, pour that in. Get all that flavoring in there. And we'll give her a stir. And we'll put the cover back on. And put some more wood on it. Get her going again. It's a lot of heat coming off right there. She's already boiling on this side again. So, we'll let that cook up.
want to break this up some. <laughs> if you make a mess like I am, make sure it goes in the pot. That'll be done in about another five minutes and I'll take it off and let it set and uh, thicken up. Well, there's finished meal, if you can see that. Uh, should be pretty tasty. Let's go check it out. I suggest giving this a try. That's pretty tasty. Noodles are done perfectly, of course. And uh, very tasty. I gotta let it cool down a little bit longer, though. So, here's your $3 pot, 50 cent lighter, and basically it was about a dollar and a half for this meal. There you go. Just playing around. Just uh, cut all these with this, even these big ones. And this here is a, a uh, deadfall trap. It's very small. Uh, you know what? It, ideally, if I wanted to do this, is this here would be a lot bigger. These would be, you know, a lot higher. But and you put, you know, stuff down here so. The whole idea of this is an animal is going to come, crawl over top of this, and, you know, go in after bait or whatever. Um, you know, you can close that in and so on. Anyway, I'm just playing out here. Just to show you, you know, I'm only using this dollar store knife. And I can still practice, you know, these skills. This is a primitive trap. I'm not going to leave this up. This ain't going to kill nothing. I'm not, you know... You'd have to weight this down and on it, you know, the whole bit. I'm not doing that. I'm just basically just playing around and honing my skills. And if you make this stuff, you'll remember it a lot more than if you just read about it or watch it. So the way this would work is a critter. Now let me get something here. Critter would come along and try to crawl over top of this by pushing it down. That flips over, that falls down, crushes the animal, or holds it there, whatever. But that's the way the trap works. So, I just wanted to show that to you. Uh, I'm just playing around. These, this isn't even sturdy or nothing. Like I said, just playing. And uh, it's what you do out here.
So this is it. Uh, it's going to be dark here very shortly and I won't be able to record. So I um, wanted to wrap this up. Now, if you're going to be camping on the ground like this here, know your area. Because if you have rattlesnakes and so on and stuff, I don't think you'd want to be laying on the ground. Um, I don't have anything like that around here. I don't have scorpions. I don't have anything like that. I might have an ant or a non-poisonous spider crawl over me. I've never even seen a tick out here. So I'm okay to sleep like this. But I also uh, put a bunch of... I have fur, uh, fur boughs underneath me. But I also put some uh, cedar because a lot of ant a lot of bugs do not like the smell of cedar so this here um, will keep some bugs away just by the smell of cedar so I've heard um, as I said that's that's it I have uh, this here is my shelter dollar store tarp you seeing me use a uh, pot a spoon from the house You've seen me uh, do a primitive trap. You know, I've cut that all out and such with the small little knife, the paring knife. It's worked well. This here, um, you can, you know, with just minimal equipment, you can come spend the night and enjoy yourself. There's many different tasks you can do, you know, with just the gear I took. So, hope this, you know, entices you guys to get out there and uh, it's really you know for gear I showed you how easy it is to get gear so that can't be really an excuse so get out there and have fun with it I mean when I was a young fella I would just grab stuff from the house and go so take care I hope everybody uh, enjoys this and maybe learn something and uh, see you on YouTube bye for now